Hello again, after a short break, the Football Spy Show is back, sponsored by our very good friends at Renault Vans, and we're coming to you from Switzerland, where we are in place for Tottenham's bid to reach the group stages of the Champions League. They play Young Boys of Bern tomorrow night, and we will be there to give you a full report and a rundown on the fallout from that particular contest. But back to today's show, and let's start, as always, with some transfer news. We start with Chelsea, who are very much in for the outstanding Benfica central defender David Luiz. He's 23, and Manchester City have also been linked with him, which is probably why the Benfica president is saying today that he won't consider selling Luiz for anything less than 40 million euros. That's 32.3 million pounds sterling to us in the UK, so watch this space. Sticking with Chelsea on the Spanish Daily Marker has reported, listen to this, Blues fans, that Real Madrid boss Jose Mourinho has demanded that the club Club's hierarchy make a renewed offer for Chelsea star Didier Drogba. It is claimed in Spain that an £11 million bid has already been rejected. We'll get to the bottom of that. Now, this one's been doing the rounds over the weekend, but we're staying on top of it as Harry Redknapp says he wants the former Arsenal defender William Gallas on a free transfer. Spurs fans, what do you think of that? Reports in Wales last night claiming that Cardiff would announce the signing of the Man City forward Craig Bellamy on a six-month loan deal today, but that has not happened. In our own Daily Mirror, Spurs are in pole position to buy the striker as City want him out of the club for good and Spurs want to get him out right. Goal.com report that Spurs are in for the Nice forward Loic Remy, but I think Bellamy is more of a priority. And just one more on Spurs. Calciomerto.it in Italy is reporting that Harry Redknapp wants to hold on to the midfielder Giovanni Dos Santos amid reports that he's bound for AC Milan. The Sun say that West Ham have warned Spurs they'll be reported to the Premier League if they make another attempt to buy a midfielder, Scott Parker. I'm not quite sure why. We're in the middle of the transfer window and there's absolutely nothing wrong with Spurs trying to buy a player from another club. The France midfielder Hatem Benafa says he will never play for his club Marseille again as he wants to force a move to Newcastle. That's in France football. It's a coup for Newcastle, but I personally think it's disgusting when players do that and I think Marseille should tell him that they are not paying him. And I think Wigan should do the same to Charles Nzogbia, who has apparently walked out on them, according to the Sun. He's gone on strike to force a move to Birmingham. Now, SkySports.com report Mesut Ozil has told Werder Bremen he is disappointed that they've rejected an offer for him from Real Madrid. There's been speculation last week that he was about to join Barcelona, but Manchester United fans, he's very much up for grabs. On the Mirror Football website, Birmingham are set to clinch the signing of Matt Derbyshire from Olympiacos today. He's 24, he flew into England uh, from Greece for a medical and he should be their latest addition to their forward line. Now the spy email's been absolutely jumping with your views and now that the Premier League has restarted, I'd like a few more. Let me know what you think of your team's first day performance and whether you think it means they should step up their attempts to buy someone. You might think the players they've already bought are a waste of money or maybe your manager has picked up a bargain already. Let me know your thoughts. And, I, and also let me know where you think your team will finish on the basis of their opening weekend performance. Email me at spy at mirror.co.uk or you can post on YouTube. Let's go through some of your messages that you've sent already. Rodney Parker's in California. He doesn't want the USA coach Bob Bradley at Aston Villa as he thinks Bradley was, in his words, horrible for the USA at the World Cup. Rob Jackson is from right here, in, well, from England, and he's asked me to do a poll asking City fans whether they agree with the club selling Craig Bellamy. Uh, Rob says Bellamy has such a good stats as a player and he gives 200%. So if you're a City fan, or even if you're not, Get in touch and let me know whether you think City are right to let Bellamy go or not. And I like this from Mohamed, who doesn't want Sven to replace uh, Martin O'Neill at Aston Villa. He says Sven is a mercenary and he would destroy Villa if he rocked up to the club with his wage demands and his lack of charisma. Oh, it's a wonder how he manages to get so many women. He must smell like chocolate. Very good. Uh, now I'm going to feature a couple of the top sixes that you've sent in before Saturday's big kickoff because so many of you may be changing your minds and so many of you have been bang on the money. For example, Sahil Nathani is from Indonesia and it's hard to disagree with his belief that Chelsea will retain the league and United will finish second. It was tight between Arsenal and Liverpool yesterday but they should finish ahead of Spurs and City who also drew on Saturday. Steven Mango has got Arsenal top from Chelsea but I can't see the Gunners 
outscoring Chelsea, who got a record 103 goals last season and scored six more at the weekend. Now time for a couple of your teams and the way you want them to line up by the time the transfer window closes. And because we're here in Switzerland uh, to see Spurs play tomorrow night, this is the first of two Tottenham teams. Uh, FIFA 09 VSPE 09, a long name, but he's got a 4-3-1-2 formation with Gomez in goal, the back four as you'd expect, and a midfield three of Lennon, Huddleston and Modric. Dos Santos is in the hole and Keane is alongside Defoe up front. I like that side, it's got pace, creativity and goals in it. Good enough to beat young boys tomorrow night. But this team from 11 Doctors is very, very curious indeed. I'm not sure I'd play Basong at right back uh, with Chaluka fit. And Eunice Kabil did really well in that position against Arsenal and Chelsea last season. In midfield, the Doctors go for Sandro, which is interesting because he can't play until the end of September. And up front, it's Defoe and Keane. It's an interesting team, but I wouldn't have the Basong at right back. Now, just before we go, news has broken in England today that Man City are willing to offload the striker Rocket Centre Cruz to West Ham. They've offered eight and a half million pounds for him. He'd be an excellent signing for the Hammers. I'm back with you for this week. I'm out here in Switzerland for the first three days of the week. Let me know what your predictions are for tomorrow night's game against Young Boys. Don't forget too, we've got Champions League Football Spy coming up after the window closes. More on that in the coming weeks, sponsored by our friends at Renault Vans. But the Football Spy show is back. Stay with us. We'll be with you for the remainder of the transfer window. I'll see you next time.